Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you 5 mods which will improve your FPS and performance. The mod I speak about today should work with Fabric and I cannot guarantee that they will all have a Forge counterpart. If you need a tutorial on how to install Fabric then check out the card in the top right at the end of the video. All of these mods are completely client side which means they can be played on any server. You also might want to note that many of them use Fabric API to work. I'll have that and the rest of the mods linked below. Without further ado, let's get into it. The first mod I have for you today is Sodium. Personally, I consider this the most important step to improving FPS. I use this on every mod pack because the frame boost it gives me is outstanding. Optifine would be an alternative with more features, however I prefer the frame boost which Sodium gives, especially in combination with the rest of the mods on this list which I do not believe that Optifine is compatible with. Next up is a mod called Lithium. Lithium is another mod by the same creator as Sodium. This is a really useful mod which can decrease tick time by an average of 45%. The mod works to optimise many game systems such as physics, mob AI and block ticking, whilst not changing any behaviour of the game itself. And number 3 we have Phosphor. This mod once again is made by the same developer as the previous two and is used to make the lighting engine more efficient. Using this mod significantly decreases the time it takes to load chunks and also reduces the frequency of frame stutters. The next mod on this list is Dynamic FPS. Dynamic FPS automatically reduces the speed at which Minecraft renders when it's not focused. This means that when you're in another tab, Minecraft's frame rate will be lowered. The default it lowers to is 1 FPS, however you can configure this in the config file or by using a mod menu. It will improve the performance of your PC as less of your system will be being used by the game. This mod is definitely a must have for if you have a low end PC or if you just don't want to be wasteful. And last but certainly not least is Clumps. This mod groups XP orbs together into a single entity to reduce entity lag. Unfortunately it only works on the server if installed on both client and server, so if you're playing on a server which doesn't have it installed, you will not receive the effects of the mod, however you still be able to play. On top of this, it also makes the player immediately collect the orbs once they touch the player, so that you aren't stuck with a bunch of orbs in your face. I think this mod's really useful, especially right after building an enderman farm, as they always just fill you with so much lag and XP. Anyways, that is unfortunately the end of this video. This one was pretty short, so if you think I missed anything, then do drop a comment and I'll make sure to add it to another video. I like every comment, and if you don't believe me, why not try it? If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate if you've subscribed. It's free, and I'm aiming for 300 subs by the end of the year. The goal is tough, I'm starting to put a lot of effort into these videos, so I think that I can do it with the help of you boosting the algorithm. Thanks for watching till the end, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.